What is up Midway Mayhem fans? This is Dan and we are checking back in from the Universal Orlando Resort. I know it's been a couple weeks, but we're here to see what's new with Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure and the Jurassic Project. There's a lot to see and do. Let's go! One small thing to note over here at City Walk, well, the surfboard that has the wave for photo opportunities is currently under refurbishment. Hopefully we'll be back soon. And one of our first big projects to check up on is Big Fire, and I can already see a bunch of changes to the outside of the building here. Good news, hopefully it'll be opening up very soon. And a little closer view of what's going on here, we can see those panels now installed right there on the outside. Looks kind of nice actually. Very soon the rest of the work walls will be down and we can see more panels on the back side of the building here. And we can see this area that was being worked on is now fully enclosed. Just a couple other panels to put on and it's done. Sad news to report everybody. No construction ducks this time. At least over here by Big Fire. One last look at Big Fire and then we are on our way inside the park. But yes, electrical lines, a lot of progress has been made. Opening very soon. And the first park up today is going to be Islands of Adventure. No wait over here at the ticket booths. And at the turnstiles, at least on the right hand side, those are not being used. The ones over here on the left, no wait, we're going to be able to walk right in. Yep, no wait, we are right on through. Let the adventure begin. Just in case if you were wondering, Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure merchandise still here. Well, let's check up on the wait times. The park is open until 9 p.m. Hulk is currently 20 minutes. Doctor Doom, 10 minutes. Spider-Man, 15 minutes. Dudley do Right's 35. Ludos is 20. Kong, 40 minutes. Jurassic Park River Adventure, 10 minutes. Forbidden Journey, 30 minutes. Poseidon's Fury, 20 minutes. And some of the smaller rides, only five minutes. Of course, the Hogwarts Express, 20 minutes. Not too bad here, considering a holiday is coming up very soon. Of course, one of the biggest projects that we need to cover, the Jurassic Project. And that could either be Jurassic Park or Jurassic World. Still trying to figure out those details, but a lot has been going on here at the construction site. In fact, the Triceratops encounters are gone.
do believe the bridge has started work. As we can see, a lot of rebar around, concrete has been poured, and the first wood planks are now on there. All right, time now for our closest view of all the construction, and this is not a drill, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that's a drill, a really big one, actually. And it's been doing a lot of work, but across the way, well, the viewing area has some foundations, and we can see the excavator right there on the mound of dirt. The concrete has been poured, and very soon, it looks like, more of the bridge is going to be worked on. Over here, well, demolition for the Triceratops encounter is really taking off. In fact, uh, there's pretty much nothing left. But yeah, this thing has been doing work, and it's going to be doing more work for a little while. Today, one of the best ways to escape that a ride on Dudley Do Rights. Skull Island, Raina Kong was showing kind of a longer wait earlier. Right now, 25 minutes, not too bad. Or you could ride this water attraction here, the Jurassic Park River Adventure. On a hot day, this will get you soaked. Same with Bluto's, of course. I haven't heard anything in regards to new rumors about Jurassic World coming here. We'll see though, of course we'll let you know if that changes. Now we're over here by the entrance to the Jurassic Park River Adventure and the only thing I can say, I am shooketh. Just look at all that open air. In fact, you can see all the way to Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket. River Adventure, open air. Again, I cannot stress how crazy this looks. Over the last couple years, this thing used to be a jungle. Now, nothing. Of course, they will replenish it once it gets a little bit closer towards the end of the project, but for right now, wow. And the home for the new Raptor Encounter, well, still behind work walls. Hopefully things are progressing nice. But this, again, nuts. Just look at that, crazy amounts of space now. Pizza Predatory, and what used to be directly across from that? The Raptor Encounter, and we can see right now, Yep, work walls completely surrounding it. Everything has been ripped out. And the temporary Raptor Encounter is still over here, doing very well actually. Guest experience? Up. Oh, everybody seems to be enjoying it. Not sure what that's for, but it's new, and over here, across from where Raptor Encounter used to be. And unfortunately, the Triceratops uh, fossil thing that used to be right behind this wall did not make it, apparently. It uh, got demolished. Also new over here, work walls have gone up around the seating area, across from the old Raptor Encounter and Burger Diggs Discovery Center. And this is to be for the new games area. So yes, we used to have games just down the way over there, but they're being moved over here to a new location. One last look at the work walls over here, and I have not heard anything about Rexy being saved. 
Hopefully it did. But yes, Triceratops encounters, gone. And we can now see the work walls. Standing over here, again where the seating area was, it goes all the way down over towards Hogsmeade now. And a view now clear enough to see all the way to Kong. For a while we had work walls over here by the smoking area and, well, this is new, vacation information, a kiosk. Going to be opening up soon, we can see the barricades there. Some of the final touches going to be going on very soon. But yes, vacation information. And a beautiful view now of the Fun Spot Arch. My relief and probably yours, construction ducks have been spotted. Just in case you forgot, we're going to have a new show this summer, The Dark Arts. And he who should not be named will be included. Yeah, can't wait to see that, along with some drones that are in it. It's going to be very impressive. Time now to check up on Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure, as there's a lot going on with that. Work walls are still up around the entrance for Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure, and guess what? It looks like the main entry is just about complete.
another good news to report over here at the exit for Hogwarts Express. While well, work walls have been taken down, we still have some of the green mesh right there on the fence. And then this work wall, still up. But good news, they're starting to come down. And that means only one thing, soft openings could be happening very soon. And we're thinking possibly within the next week, week and a half. We'll let you know though. Looks like the paint job for the drop track building is just about complete as we can see forest, clouds, and other details now on there. Okay. Again, the motorbikes will begin moving immediately. Clear the way. Now that's a safety spiel. You should probably head back. We'll pick this up later. Hmm? Well, that's going to do it for our Hagrid's coverage. Let's head over to studios and see what's new over there. So yes, again, soft openings should be happening very, very soon. The employee previews will take place first, and then soft openings. We are going to be on, of course, Hagrid Watch as soon as those walls come down. at King's Cross Station, from what I'm seeing, yeah, no wait over here. Park should be pretty dead as well. All right, so here are the wait times. Park is open until 9 p.m. ET, Fast and Furious, 15 minutes and 10 minutes, respectively. Men in Black is five minutes. Simpsons is 10 minutes. We have Transformers at 15. Hogwarts Express at 20 minutes. Shrek 40 at 10 minutes. And uh, Rocket, 35 minutes. Gringotts at 20 minutes. Kid zone, haha, <laughs> nope, moving on. Just over here we do have a new display showing off Secret Life of Pets too. Out in theaters June 7th. But yeah, not even gonna touch the uh, kid zone uh, topic. Let's head on over to the prop shop. Oh yeah, it is prop shop time. Let's go see what is new inside here. It's been a couple weeks. I do see some American flag type stuff in here. New signage over here. Looks like we have bar stuff. Part of a Jurassic World sign there, it looks like. $125. To have a canister, case, Mardi Gras Orlando stuff. New poster there. T-shirts. Again, the American Graffiti shirt right there. More signage all over the place. Cyberdyne Systems have not left. They're still here along with that giant poster with the exploding volcano, the Universal Orlando sign. Well, I believe this got moved because it was somewhere else. It's $150 for that. 
Creepy Chance, of course, has been gone for quite a while. We do have some lettering down here. Let's see. It says Halloween Horror Nights 26, visual prop. She's still here. Mummy sign here, 200 bucks. The club, skull. There's a little gurney. I don't think I've seen that before. We have horror ink up there on the wall. Giant screen face. Of course, some of the other signage. Right over here. The bee, along with the uh, pumpkin right there. The pants have not left. They're still here. And of course, we have Harley Quinn. $1,550. She could be yours. Despicable Me. The boat. Bayou Boyle. Reservations here. A lot of Mardi Gras stuff in here. Stars. Drinks. City Walk sign that's been here for a little while. Let's head around the corner. See what's new over this direction. Yum Pizza is still there. Same with the tasty meatballs. We have the photos up on the staircase. Waukita sign. Yep, still there. The uh, veranda sign right over here has not left. Some other items looks like from Christmas. That's going to do it at least for over in this area. Volcano Bay sign right there. More uniforms. And here's the chest with all of the different... Uh, signage again Halloween Horror Nights and Mardi Gras in there another Volcano Bay sign there silver sign has not left all the costumes still in place pretty much Pharaoh's Gold has not left either Park Plaza also here again this is really heavy $1,500 we do have some uh, Jurassic Park cards and the likes but that's pretty much going to do it for the prop shop of course they have the decals right there showing the retro universal studios and that's going to do it and just in case you want to own a piece of history fast and furious supercharged that is a ride sign right there 150 dollars, and it's yours a couple weeks ago we showed you the horror store it is right here where the exit for terminator used to be Still looks about the same. I'm not seeing anything really new in here. But man, this is one of my all-time favorite stores. Walking around in here is very neat. Chucky. Ghostbuster stuff. Of course, we have the fly right over here. And then the exit for Terminator. Well, I am smelling a lot of paint thinner. Or just paint in general. And another thing I did want to point out. Going rumors that we're going to get born. Now, how cool would it be if they actually dropped all of that and did John Wick? Fingers crossed, I'd be happy for that, but not likely. Ah, uh, yes, the Today Cafe is now open. They had their official grand opening in Media Day. Guests were able to head inside and enjoy some tasty food. Well, there is something new to talk about when it comes to Despicable Me Minion Mayhem. We're hearing that it's very possible they're going to drop 3D and go back to 2D screens, but with high definition. I wouldn't be opposed to it. it may speed up the wait times, of course. Just in case if you're wondering, yes indeed, Cinematic Celebration is back. Playing some of your favorite movie picture sounds, has some nice pyro, and of course the fountains.
Well guys, that's going to do it for our video here from the Universal Orlando Resort and I am very happy to say that Haggard's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure, well, is doing quite a bit of testing and soft openings are on the horizon. The Jurassic Park project is doing very well as the new bridge is starting out and of course the Today Cafe is now officially open at Studios. We are going to have more updates from here so if you like what we do, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube and Twitter at Midway Mayhem and I will see you out on the Midway.